Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to configure DHCP server on a Cisco router. So the steps needed here. Number one, exclude the addresses you want to reserve. And the reason we do this uh, as the first step in configuring DHCP is because as soon as you set the network ID, uh, obviously in the configuration, uh, uh, the DHCP servers uh, will start responding to client requests. So make sure that the addresses that you don't want to use in your pool or providing the client with you need to reserve these addresses and you need to put this as your first step in configuring the scp number two create your pool uh, from each uh, local area network using a unique name so names such as sales department hr department uh, things like in your uh, company so number three choose the network id and the subnet mask uh, for the dhcp pool so we are going to select the network id and the network mask uh, number four uh, we need to add the address uh, used for the default gateway for the subnet and uh, if you are using a router uh, it's going to be uh, the the IP address for that router. Uh, provide the DNS uh, uh, server address or addresses. Then finally, if you don't want the default lease time, which is 24 hour or one day, you need to set a custom uh, lease time for the IP configurations uh, in days, hours, and minutes. So here is in this network diagram, I do have my router connected to switch and the switch has two uh, devices connected. I have a laptop and a PC. So this is the HR department. We have a network ID of 192.168.10.0 uh, slash 24. Uh, so this is a class uh, C IP address, right? And the DSTP server, I'm going to configure it on this router here. And I'm going to give this router IP address of 192.168.10.1, uh, right? So uh, we are going to uh, to go to the router uh, command line and uh, write few commands in order to uh, configure this router uh, to provide these clients with IP addresses. So. I do have my router connected to the switch and I need to configure the interface. So fa as you see, uh, fast ethernet uh, zero, it's not configured yet on my router. So I need to configure this with an IP address. So from the router command line, I'm going to type in enter and then I'm going to access the privilege mode. Uh, by typing enable or en for short right uh, hit enter now I'm in the privilege mode next I want to be in the uh, global configuration mode to configure the uh, my router interface uh, so I'm going to type in uh, you can type in configuration terminal or config t uh, for short config than T. Now I'm in the configuration mode. So in the configuration mode, I want to uh, uh, configure my interface. So here I'm going to select the interface. So I have fast ethernet. So type in interface. So I'm selecting the interface fast ethernet. So FA for short and then the number hit enter so i'm configuring this interface right now with an ip address and subnet mask so ip address 192.168.10.1 right space 255.255 is slash 24 so 255.0 hit enter then uh, once we are done type in no shut or no shutdown uh, to uh, bring the interface up 
and make it running so now shut so here it says changed uh, fast ethernet uh, sta state it's to up hit enter now I want to exit back to the configuration mode and can exit again to go to the priv back to the privilege mode so from the privilege mode I can type in something like show IP interface space uh, brief uh, this will let me check my will give me a brief uh, interface uh, the configuration of the router so here I see the IP interfaces so the one that we just configured fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and this is the IP address um, the method is manual and the status is up and running right and next I'm going back to the global configuration mode so config space and T so I'm back to the configuration mode here I want to uh, start configuring my DHCP uh, server so the network is 192.168.10.0 uh, and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 so from the global configuration mode uh, I'm going to configure the DHCP server so type in IP DHCP then first I'm going to exclude the addresses that I want to uh, reserve uh, for my uh, for my um, servers printers routers etc so excluded dash um, address so space uh, here I'm going to type in uh, the range of the IP addresses that I want to execute it in this um, uh, within the DHCP server so 192.168.10.1 uh, this is my router IP address then I'm going to type in 192.168.10.1 uh, 10 so these are the ranges that I these are the 10 addresses that I want to reserve from the uh, DHCP pool so I'm going to keep or uh, to keep these addresses from being assigned or used uh, or being leased to clients on the network so hit enter so this is step number one we executed the addresses that we want to save uh, number two we want to create the pool so IP space DACP then pool then I'm going to type in basically uh, the name so HR uh, underscore so here I'm, I, I type in HR uh, department hit enter next this is step two is done step three I want to type in the network so network and space it's the network uh, it's my network is 192.168.10.0 then a space with uh, its subnet mask so 255.255.255.0 slash 24 hit enter so now so far this is our these are the three steps we did we executed the addresses we named our our DACP pool uh, and then network so here next I want to uh, type in my default router so default uh, dash type in router space and here I'm going to type in the IP address so if you hit on the sh uh, shift and uh, question mark you would see something like provide IP the I, the router's IP address right so here I'm going to type in my router IP address so 192.168.10.1 hit enter um, the next step we need the 
to type in the DNS server IP address. So DNS dash uh, server space. Again, if you hit uh, on the question mark, you see set IP address of DNS server. So 8.8.8.8. .8 .8. So this is the Google's DNS server. Hit enter. Next, I'm going to type in um, lease. And this is, I want to specify the lease for this uh, DACP pool. So I'm going to set it to three days, 12 hours. And finally, it's going to be uh, 15 minutes. So once you're done, type in exit and end. So here I'm back to my privilege mode. So from the privilege mode, I can type in commands to check the DHCP configurations. So type in commands such as show IP DHCP and then checking the pool information. And here I see my pool that I created. So this is the says the current index. This is the router IP address, the, uh, the IP address range, and this says here one subnet is currently in the pool. So this is the router IP address. Uh, I can type in a command such as show IP DHCP, then binding. So the binding command. Uh, will display the IP addresses that have already been assigned um, by the DSCP server to the clients. So hit enter and here we go. We see already two IP addresses assigned and probably these are the two uh, clients, the laptop and the computer that is attached uh, to the switch. So here we see 192.168.10.11 and we see 12. And this is the MAC address for these two devices. And uh, make uh, if you notice that uh, the pool start from 11 and the other one start from 12. So because if you remember during my our DHCP configuration, we excluded the first 10 IP addresses from dot one to dot ten to reserved for our. Uh, static IP addresses in the network. So these two, uh, so the DSCP binding or the uh, pool of addresses that the DSCP server can uh, lease to the client start from 11. So this, this is the first IP address, dot 11 and 12. So the clients or the computers on my network have a successful um, TCP IP configuration from the router. Now they can communicate with between each other and also they can share or use resources available on this local area network. Uh, and now we can also check uh, the work or the TCP uh, configuration. Uh, if I want to click on my computer. Now here I can go to desktop from the command prompt of this PC. I can type in IP config to see the configuration, the network configuration here. And here we go. I see 192.168.10.12 with the correct subnet mask. If I type in IP config uh, space slash all, I also see the DS, uh, DACP server, which is my router, my Cisco router here. Let me type in ping to check the ping. Uh, so from my PC to 192 to my router, 168.10.1. I'm receiving a reply from the router, successful. So again, I want to uh, ping or communicate with my laptop and let's check Again, it's successful So as you see here everything is successful going to the laptop and I can also check 
uh, ping from there, ping uh, to the router. It's successful. And also ping to the PC. And it's also successful. And that should be it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later.